Hello everyone, I'm Yalda. Welcome back to my channel Eat, Burn, Sleep. Today I'm going to show you my new favorite recipe for my coffee morning. It's my Moroccan spiced coffee. I got inspired when I was on the beach in Morocco and I bought some coffee for the first time, which I had never done before on the beach. You have some men who walk around with coffee, which is prepared. And as I sipped it, I was like, oh my God, what is in here? So I asked the gentleman, I said, what, what's in your coffee? He said, oh, I have my own spice mix. I could smell the cinnamon, but there was more to it and it was incredibly delicious. And he said to me, oh, I just go to the spice market and I'll do my own mix. I put a bit of black pepper, a bit of ground ginger, a bit of nutmeg, some cinnamon. He said, every coffee seller has his own mix. I thought, how wonderfully creative. I want to try it at home. And since I've come back, I've been making it. And normally I get jittery when I have coffee with caffeine. I can't have it every day. But because cinnamon regulates blood sugar levels, because ginger it has such anti-inflammatory properties, because pepper helps you absorb those nutrients better, nutmeg as well is extremely anti-inflammatory, I can have my coffee and I get that perk of focusing without becoming jittery and the taste is out of this world. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's so simple, but this is going to be a game changer for your morning routine. First, you need a French press or if you have the drip coffee, that works as well. You just need to mix the spices with the ground coffee before putting it into the filter. Here we have some good quality coffee. We have ground ginger, which is very anti-inflammatory. Black pepper, which helps with absorbing everything, nutrients. Cinnamon, which is a natural sweetener. It helps regulate your blood sugar levels. Coffee sometimes increases cortisol levels, which will release glucose, which is sugar in your blood. And that's why you can get ups and downs from coffee. But if you put cinnamon, that will help um, mitigate that effect. And finally, nutmeg is a natural anti-inflammatory. So we're gonna start with putting coffee. I like to put about two, two spoons and a little bit. Next, when it comes to the spices, I'm gonna show you my mix, but feel free to modify the quantities and do your own mix as you like it. So I do like quite a bit of cinnamon, and then I put a touch, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of ground ginger, an eighth of a teaspoon as well of black pepper, and about this much nutmeg but you can modify the quantities to your liking. Next, I'm going to start the kettle. And now I'm going to pour the water over. Give it a little stir. I'm putting this on top. I will let it rest for a few minutes and only when it's easy to push it down, I will push it down and my coffee will be ready. So we're gonna push this down and have smells amazing. Mmm, and tastes so good. You know me, I'm crazy about the taste. It has to be perfect. And this is a game changer. I don't know if I'm going to ever be able to make normal coffee again. I hope you enjoy this video. If you make it, please post, tag Eat to Burn Sleep, check my blog eatburnsleep.com for many more recipes, for a lot of health information and for my amazing plans, which will help you health-wise if you need it. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Do subscribe and see you next time.